Hello everyone and welcome to the series of code snippets for everyday JavaScript development. In this second snippet, we will study about how you can get the value of an input as number. We know that by default, the input value is a string. And in order to get a number, first we have to parse it into a number. But there is a better way to do that. And to put simply, instead of using event.target.value, we use event.target.value as number. And this will give you the input value as number. So now let's see this in action. So first, we have this quantity input, which I have taken from the ID of quantity input. Next, we are listening to the blur event on this quantity input. Okay. And in there, first, let's see what happens if we try to access the value directly with e.target.value. So right now, if I enter a number and trigger the blur event, we see we get 45, but it is a string. See the type of is a string, but we want a number. So let's move ahead and do this with another method. With this method, what we have done is used parse float method. So let's try that now. And with that, we get the input value as a number, right? This works, but there is still a better way. And that is value as number. You see what we have done here is e dot target dot value as number just replaced this e dot target dot value with e dot target dot value as number. We don't have to use any parse float method or anything else, right? And with this, we'll see that we get input value as a number. What we have done is just replaced even dot target dot value with e dot target dot value as number. 